Yeah, so I'm going in with Aaron Wise. I'll, I'll preface this by saying I agree with Jeff. Uh, some other names for you. Austin Smotherman, rookie, has been pretty good lately. Alex Smalley, a really underrated rookie. Kramer Hickok, we saw him in that eight-hole playoff at the Travelers last year. Joseph Bramlett, who should fit this golf course really well. So, yes, you can certainly go deeper with your plays as well. But like I said earlier, Aaron Wise, my favorite play on the board. He, he's, he's dropped a little bit. He's gotten a little bit shorter, especially after Daniel Berger had a late withdrawal yesterday after the odds came out. So I, I liked Aaron Wise more at the original number, but still, I, I just think he's too good to only have one career victory. It's been almost four years now since that first win. He's trending in the right direction. Really good player. This should suit his game. I like everything about him this week. Uh, Jeff, so do you. You still like your picks from yesterday? It was Aaron Wise and C.T. Pan. Yeah, and, and C.T. Pan will give a little bit of a shout-out. Uh, I believe he's still uh, plus 6,000. I mean, this is another player who, you know, it just – he's gained strokes on approach in five straight starts. He's obviously already a PGA tour winner. Um, if the putter shows up for CT pan and he's just typically a really good spike putter, he can easily compete in an event like this. And if, if anything, if you like him, like I think plus 11,000 for a top five is very fair. I already throw out Wyndham Clark. So I'm collecting all these sort of golfers who are just, you know, very volatile, but, uh, I like the Aaron Wise call too. Like I said, CT Pan, Wyndham Clark, a couple other guys I'm on. 